Now the women's 1,000 meters final. Yang Yang S, a little overshadowed by her compatriot Yang Yang A. Ko for Korea, the 15 year old. Jolay, who's been so impressive for Canada. Six in the 1500. And here she is. Gold medalist in the 500. Warm favorite to win gold here in the 1,000. Yang Yang S on the inside, then Ko, then Drole, and Yen Yang Yang A. Yang Yang A tucking in at the back. It's Yang Yang S leading off. Drole in second, Ko in third, and Yang Yang A at the back. And Yang Yang just uh, making a move up into second place in behind Ko, who leads now. And uh, there she goes, Yang Yang A making a move, and Yang Yang S going up with her, looking for a way around the outside. Well, we've seen Canada take first and second in the men's final here. Could it be China first and second in the women's? Yang Yang S in the lead at the moment from Yang Yang A. Drole, who has been so good in third place. Ko at the moment in fourth. Yes, Drole's got to be careful that she doesn't get herself boxed in here. Four laps to go now. Ko just keeping herself out of trouble, looking for a way around the outside, but uh, nowhere to go yet. Still, it's the Yang Yangs who are dominating. And here comes Yang Yang A on the inside. Yang Yang A taking it up now from Ko. And Yang Yang S looks to be out of it. Very close there at the bell. She looks to be away and clear. Yang Yang, Ko is the only one who can take her. It's Yang Yang A and Ko. This for gold and silver. Round the final bend. Oh, so close. But it's the Chinese who's taken double gold. Yang Yang A, who a few days ago gave China its first ever Winter Olympics gold medal, doubles up here in the thousand. And Yang Yang S taking the bronze medal. Ko, the 15-year-old, gets silver to go with the gold she won in the 1500. Well, Simon, it was another fantastic race, wasn't it? Yang Yang A really turning the screw over the last couple of laps, injecting some speed, and Ko the only one who could go with her, but uh, Yang Yang S hanging on for that bronze medal. Ko is incredible when you think she's just 15 years of age. What a turn of speed she's got. She really does. But in the end, experience held sway. And she really is an outstanding skater. Yang Yang A, 25 years old. And now has gold twice and silver in the relay. Olympic and world record holder. She's won just about everything. Overall gold medalist at the last five world championships from 97 up to 2001. Yeah, she's got amazing ability to hang on in there and just si find something a little bit extra when she needs to. An amazing competitor. Not just physically strong, but mentally too. And that's so important in short track speed skating. And she's got an ego too, hasn't she? When they uh, tried to de define between them, she was called uh, Yang Yang L because she was just slightly bigger, Yang Yang large. And uh, Yang Yang S was the smaller of the two. But uh, she said, I'm not having that. So she changed it to Yang Yang A. Can't blame her, can you? No. <laughs> and it's Yang Yang A, it is, who has proved the consummate short tracker at these Olympics. Two golds and a silver to go with the silver that she won in the relay at Nagano. But Ko did all she could and very nearly snuck up on the inside. Just a skate's length between them. Yeah, it was a close run thing. 
So two gold medals to go with uh, a pair of gold boots. What a team. Both skated individual races, but uh, a fantastic result for the Chinese team here. They'll be thrilled with that. No relation, but you can see there's, uh, although there'd be bitter enemies on the ice, they're fine off it. And uh, a mutual respect and a mutual joy there at their triumph. Yang Yang A taking gold, Ko silver for Korea, Yang Yang S taking the bronze. We'll be back with the men's 5,000 relay after this. <laughs>